And we're going to do that by talking about education briefly. A lot of us at Google are deeply passionate about education because it's an area where we can really see the impact technology can have on people's lives, especially the lives of children. And so we are, we are investing a lot in education. And for us, the journey started with Google Apps. Google Apps are incredibly popular in schools around the world. There are over 25 million users of Google Apps in over 200 countries all around the world, in schools, in universities, and so on. Just in the United States, 74 of the top 100 universities fully run on Google Apps. Seven of the top eight, seven of the eight Ivy League universities, for those of you who are from Dartmouth, you may want to start nudging your IT administrator there. <laughs> seven of the eight Ivy League schools use Google Apps. Large public school systems like uh, Chicago, et cetera, completely run on Google Apps. And the momentum is incredible. But we want to take it a step further. What we want to do is to bring both Android and Chrome into educational institutions around the world so that both Google and all of you can build applications to really change how computing and technology is used in schools. We are beginning to invest a lot for Android in education, and we want to give you an update. To do that, I'm going to invite Chris Yerga back on stage. Thanks, Sundar. So as we've heard, Android is growing incredibly fast, and its momentum is changing everything. But there's still a big part of all of our lives and the lives of our kids that mobile technology hasn't really touched. When I go visit my kids' classroom, it looks pretty much exactly like it did when I went to school. So a bunch of us in Android ask educators, why is there so much talk about technology in schools, but so little impact? And what we heard was really interesting. Teachers told us that in education, there's a huge gap between what's possible with technology and what's practical, especially with mobile technology. And then they told us it was Google's job to fix this. <laughs> Google should make it affordable to give every student a tablet. And Google should make it those devices. And Google finally should make it way easier to find the best tools and content from a really diverse set of developers and get that content to the right students. We agreed. So today, I'm really excited to announce a new initiative, which will make it easy and affordable for schools to put Android tablets in the hands of all their kids and to load them up with powerful educational content and tools. And I want to give you a sneak peek of one of the key parts of this effort, Google Play for Education, built from the ground up to meet the unique content needs of educators. Let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice is that Google Play for Education is organized by categories educators care about, namely subject matter and grade level. For example, say I'm the K-6 math subject matter expert in my school district, and I want to find an educational app that my incoming kindergartners can use to sharpen their problem solving skills. So I click on math, kindergarten, and immediately I see a bunch of apps from a diverse set of partners, including NASA and PBS. Also, each app has been recommended by a group of educators as useful for teaching kindergarten math. This is key because teachers trust other teachers. So uh, kids' numbers uh, and math from IntelliJoy looks really good. Uh, I'll start with the free version. Remember, I'm not shopping for myself here uh, because this school is using Google Apps for Education and every student has a Google account. I can just enter the name of the Google group of these students and bam, all 500 kindergartners in my district will instantly get this app on their tablets. Now say a few weeks have gone by, and I'm really impressed with the math skills the kids are learning from kids' numbers in math, so I want to upgrade to the paid version so the kids can go deeper. Uh, rather than enter a credit card, which is not how schools work, I can just charge these 500 licenses against a balance funded by a school purchase order. And one more thing, notice that the store doesn't just have apps. You can discover books and YouTube educational videos and push them to Android tablets in exactly the same way. Pilot sites like Kip Bridge Charter School and Hillsborough Township Public Schools are already going crazy for this. 
Six elementary schools in New Jersey used 550 different third-party apps during a single day in our pilot, all of them discovered and downloaded by teachers in Google Play for Education. Multiply that pilot by millions of classrooms in the US, and you can see there's a huge opportunity here for educators, students, and for you as developers. So this is where you come in. We're doing the heavy lifting of building play for education, bringing it to the schools, making it easy for them to find great content and buy it in bulk. Now you can focus on what you do best, creating awesome and innovative educational content. We're going to be launching Google Play for Education in the fall, uh, but starting this summer, we'll be ready to accept your app submissions. Check out our developer microsite at developer.android.com edu, where we've posted guidelines on how to build awesome K-12 apps. Also, come find us at the Education Sandbox here at I.O. Thanks, everyone. It's great to see Android making its foray into education. We're going to invest a lot. We've already been doing this with Chromebooks. Chromebooks are really ideally suited for education because there's literally no setup, no administration, you open the device, you're good to go, and you have the power of web within you. Just last year alone, we have over 1,000 schools in the United States running Chromebooks. In the four months this year, we have added 2,000 new schools, and Chromebooks are going mainstream in education in schools in the United States, just like Google Apps. And the area where this all came together beautifully is Malaysia. So I want to talk about that for a minute. Malaysia has a nationalized education system. They have 10,000 schools in the country distributed, several of them in poor rural areas. So they really wanted to provide 4G connectivity throughout to all 10,000 schools to level the playing field. And they are deploying Google Apps along with Chromebooks in primary and secondary schools so that they can bring computing in their schools. So let's take a look at what they're doing. Malaysia has so much to offer so much untapped potential. Just to walk into one of these small villages and look at the eyes of those children at the school, you see that spark, little fire in their eyes. There's this whole world out there that would allow you to experience learning beyond what you ever thought possible. And a lot of our students don't have internet access. A lot of them were just left behind. In Malaysia, we place a huge investment in the education of our young children. We're providing 4G connectivity to all schools across the country. And the fact that we can spread it across 10,000 schools is amazing. Learning had to be anytime, anyplace. You didn't have to be in a state-of-the-art classroom, but you could be with a Chromebook sitting in a field and experiencing world-class learning. It is so exciting to be a part of education in Malaysia today. This power that you place in a child's hand and you say, the web is your school. Go and learn 